such as Rogue Wing, Coraline, or Helen R.D. over the Starship Modeler. Welcome to the workshop. Okay, with the Star Fury build now complete, it's time to decide what to do next. I already have that in mind. It is now about 8.20 on the 16th of March. What I'm going to be working on is the old Toy Biz Storm Kit, only I'm not going to build her out of the box. The uh, box art gives you a rough idea of one of the big problems I have with this kit and I'm going to deal with it in a little different way. As you can see, compared to the rest of her leg, the feet on this thing are huge. So I'm going to do something I've done or tried to do a couple of times in the past. So I'm going to take the feet and turn them into paws. Basically I'm going to take Storm here with a little seam filling and a little surgery. I'm going to turn her into a cat girl. Fortunately, the head is a separate section. Torso is fairly well portioned, if a little over endowed, but we'll worry about that down the road. What I'll probably be doing, as you can see on the box art, she's got knives in her hands. What I'll probably do is take a blade this direction out of sheet styrene and basically turn the knife into a sword hilt maybe a double bladed sword who knows I'll play that part by ear when I get that far the other big thing I'm going to be doing here is instead of using the kit hair which is basically two pieces and is kind of an amorphous blob so I'll be sculpting ears and new hair for her out of Aves, as well as using the Aves to fill the seams on her boots. And there are a couple of other nasty seams I remember, especially over here where the uh, cloak would hook into her shoulders. But that's an idea where we're going with the next build. Stay tuned. Well, given the simple nature of this kit, the fact this is probably going to be a quick build shouldn't surprise anybody. But, here's a quick progress report. I've got the major sub-assemblies for Storm herself built. I've done a little bit of seam work. I'm not too worried about the seam on the top of her head, because that's going to be covered with Aves anyway. I'm debating instead of doing the sword blades like I was thinking I'm debating just keeping the knife blades there is a nasty seam I am gonna have to work though it's right here that's gonna take a bit of aves to fix and then that gap will be gone I've already started modifying her legs and feet I've cut the heels off her boots and the combination of my razor saw and my Dremel gone in and started working on, if you will, toes for her feet. Seam work on most of the sub-assemblies is done. Well, I still got to go in and fill these gaps, but I'll probably wait till I get her head in place first. I'm debating whether I'll put down a collar or something over that. But all in all, it's coming along nicely. At this rate, I'll probably only do one video for this build. Okay, back at work on her. Got some of the major construction done. 
I haven't put her arm, the, her forearms in yet, mostly because I'm still debating what I'm going to do about the blades. So I figure at this point I'll leave them off to make it easier to work with. Her legs and head, on the other hand, are in place now. And as you can see, I'm going to have some nasty seamage to fill here along her boot lines. The belt line I'm not that worried about because she's got a belt there. Her neck, on the other hand, is just as bad as her legs, if not worse, because it's her neck. Now, for Storm herself, that could arguably be the suit collar because her suit comes all the way up to her neck. But I'm still debating how I want to do the top of her suit, so I am going to need to go ahead and fill that seam. That's where we're sitting at the moment. All right. Quick update on the Stormcat. Namely, the presence of all this lovely blue waves. It's especially heavy on her heels because I had to fill in the wrinkle where her boots were and, of course, the holes left when I cut off her heels. Also filled in the joint on her legs as well as the holes where her cape would have fit and that wonderful seam around her neck. Be interesting to see how well it smooths out. I may need another coat of Aves. We'll see. I've toured around with second blades for these. I thought briefly about using, you know, basically a cut down corn dog stick. And it'll work, but with the curved blade on the one end, straight blade on the handle doesn't really work that well. So that idea is out. I'm going to take a sheet of styrene and cut some blade into it. I still have to bend, heat and bend her tail. But we are making progress.